Hey everybody, this is Pete. And in this second video of my recap of Autodesk University, I'm actually going to answer a question that came up in one of my classes where uh, we covered model states and some of the things I've learned about model states. And somebody came up to me after class asking about a particular message they were getting in copy design in Vault when they were copying model states. So I'm just going to show you a couple quick examples of the assemblies and explain what that message is, why it's happening, and why you might not have to worry about it. So what we've got here is <clears throat> a design. It's just the same design I had in my class, just a, a wall. And each one of these uh, dimensional lumber pieces has a unique part number per model state. So for example, if I look at the sill plate, and we look here, it's got a unique part number. So every single size, configuration, et cetera, has a unique part number. That's what will throw the error in copy design. I have a second assembly here. This has just had a simple box in it. And this design was more about the different um, <clears throat> steps in forming the box. So I didn't assign a different part number to each stage. In fact, if we look at the eye properties for the box, it's still the generic file name. So we're going to copy design both so you can see the error and then you can understand how to fix it. So in Vault, I've already got all this checked in and ready to rock and roll. And I'm going to do the pre-built wall first. This is where the model states have unique part numbers. So I right click and do copy design. Now, full confession, I'm not the world's best Vault user. So I accept and am cool if people make fun of me. But I'm just going to make a copy of both the assembly and the model state part. Now, as far as the destination folder goes, I already have pre-built a folder. I'm just going to stick it in this copy design folder. Hit OK. See if that's uh, what we want here. Control C, Control A, Control V. Yeah, so that's good. That's what we want. And that's it. I mean, I'm sure there's more we could do in here, but I'm going to execute the copy. And what happens is we get this error. It's, I should rephrase that. It's a warning message saying that, hey, you can't copy due to vault restrictions. Uh, do you still want to do it? So it doesn't stop you from doing it. But what it's telling me is that because of the model state, uh, it can't copy certain properties, modify them, etc. So you're going to have to change all that stuff after the fact. So this is, I think, by design. Uh, I found a tech article on that. I will include that link in the description below. So it's normal. And you can still execute the copy. That's all that this is saying is that because the model states have unique part numbers per state, that's why it throws this restriction warning. But I can hit yes and go for it. Cool. So it executes the copy design. Ta-da. Uh, oh, whoops. <laughs> well, so my bad. I meant to put that in this folder, so I'll just move it. I must have missed the description or something in there, but there it is. So was in the wrong spot. Again, you can totally make fun of me for being a copy design noob, but uh, it did make the copy. Now for my second example, and I'll try to do a better job <laughs> of making sure it's in the right spot, I'm going to do a copy design on the box assembly. And I'm just going to maximize this. That will probably help me. And I need all the help I can get. So I'm going to do the same thing. Whoops. Put the copy in here. Put the copy in here. Whoops. Cool. And then I should be able to control A, control V, put it in the same spot. Okay. That looks good. I bet you I know I forgot to click out of it. Maybe it didn't accept it. So this one, if I execute the copy, no warning, it just does it because that second part didn't have any unique part numbers. And look at that, I even put it in the right spot. So that's what that warning message means and how you can avoid it. So again, I would let that be a showstopper for you, but just in case that was confusing for anybody else, that's why that's happening. If you have any questions or comments, please let me know and have a blessed day.